What's going on everyone? Welcome to Let's Play Betrayer. Now, this game is a uh, first person, but it is set in the turn of the century. The 17th century, as you sail from England to the New World, to a settlement in Virginia. Now, that's what the description of this game says, and that's all I know. So, <laughs> let's see what this is about. We have some intro credits. And that's it. Now you'll see the style of this game is uh, black and white, but you will see some things that glow red, which uh, I believe those are the things that you can actually interact with. Thank you for melee. That's all I got is a little knife. F to open. And I got some coins. Is there a little red in there. But those are the only real color differences that, uh... Longbow arrow. I would like a longbow. That would be sweet. But, um, this game is supposed to... Uh, put you into this situation where you don't know what's going on. So... And I don't at the moment. I keep getting arrows. I need a bow. More coins. Can I run? I can't run. Break a barrel. Take some of the whiskey with me. Alright, let's follow this path, see where this goes to. Well, I figured that one out. <laughs> Go up this way first. More coins. Hope I can uh, at least come across a town or something. Which there should be in this strange new land. I saw that. Had to be some kind of warning. I don't know who you are or why you've come here, but you should turn back. At least you become trapped in this place as I am. Okay, that doesn't sound good. But the boat was still there. I mean, we can we can go back to the boat. But I'm not turning back. See another chest up there. At least some of these things glow too. More coins. What does that do? Oh, I can I can zoom in with that button. Should have zoomed in when the guy shot at me. What is that? There's my bow. Dear sir and madam, I have come into possession of a number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value. As a token of my good faith, I offer you a free bow in hopes that you may survive long enough to become a regular customer. I don't like the sound of that. Arrows will be free for a limited time as well. Beware that they may sometimes deflect from armored enemies, so be sure to carry plenty and recover them when you can. I will put my trust in your honor to leave payment 
for whatsoever else you choose to purchase. Okay. Can't carry item. Stock unlimited. That's cool. Well, I can't afford any of that. Does he say I can buy them anyway? No, I guess not. I bought the bow. So this is my inventory. I have a cracked bow. And a shoddy bow. Oh, so he gave me one of them for free. My, my mistake there. Okay, so the shoddy one does a little more damage. I'm uh I'm getting used to these screens here. I can't say I've messed uh, around with this stuff. So I got three spots I can equip things. So I have this bow and that bow and apparently unlimited arrows. So that's the store. Guess I come back for the arrows. Does this mean I gotta gotta shoot somebody here? All right, looking for that person that shot the arrow last time. No. Because your well-being is important to me, both fiscally and sentimentally, I feel I should advise you that enemies are easiest to slay if you catch them unaware. For the range makes them stronger. Shots to the head will also inflict more grievous injury than those to the trunk or limbs. Please rely on me whenever you find yourself in need of deadlier implements of warfare. Okay. Alright. So... Stay stealthy. Hit stuff at ranged. And hit him in the head. Easy enough. Okay. Did you make that noise? Am I supposed to attack you? That doesn't sound good. Can I do it from here? Oh! I'm a professional. So I should be able to take my arrow back? Glass bead. Crude pistol? Okay. Um, okay, so I have the pistol in the third spot. Okay. Um, I got ten shots with that. That's probably loud. All treasure chests found. Sweet. Some kind of barricade up here. What was that? I saw something flash red. Oh, is that just a note? The weapons you recover from slain adversaries are generally of poor quality, both being feebler and more cumbersome to employ than you may desire. The weapons I offer are guaranteed to do more harm and do it faster. This merchant is really promoting himself. Okay, so I'm in Fort Henry? It's gonna show me where I'm at on the map at least. Can I do anything? Is it still loading? It was still loading. And I clicked, so I shot. Alright, waste of an arrow. What is that? So I can break that open. Musket load. Tomahawk? Throw tomahawk is a G. Do I only have one? Or is it a constant thing? Okay, so clues, there's people. 
Maiden in red. She was the one that shot me. Or shot the statue. Not shot at me. Traveling merchant. Who really promotes himself. All chest found there. Stealth tags. Okay, so that's just telling me some stuff that I've learned along the way. Maiden in red. So I'm looking for her now, perhaps? Or maybe this note will tell me. I was remiss it was remiss of me not to mention that enemies are more likely to discover you if you are moving. Crouching makes you significantly harder to detect and allows you to move quietly. Use the wind to your advantage. There's a wind meter too. Gus will mask your footsteps, making it easier to run up behind foes without alerting them. So I have to pay attention to the surroundings as well for the gusts of wind. Like that. So that's when I start running. Okay. Alright. Is that a little path over there? Or should I just stick to this one? I guess I'll stay over here. Okay. How do I crouch? There we go. Oh, is he facing this way? I can't tell. Oh, now he's facing this way. Did I miss? I did miss. I don't want to cancel my shot. I want to get him. He needs to stop moving. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Get the hang of this bow and arrow thing. Can I stand up now? Silver ring. To get my arrow back. It says I only got 14. Maybe I did get back. I can't remember what I was at. At least they stand out in red. Okay, there looks like a town up on top of that hill. With the... Not British. Is that England? That's England, right? I did sail from England, so that makes sense. It's... It's the settlement I came to look for. see anything going that way I don't like that door open for me for no reason I see some red over there okay so it looks like there's gonna be other destinations what is going on over there Kind of makes me wonder... The sounds are really good. It sounded like there was something right behind me. My dear sir or madam, I hope that the bow I gave you has been of reasonable service, but I would encourage you to consider some of my finer wares. I accept coin or barter as you see fit. Please check back from time to time to see what new items I may have acquired. Oh, jeez. Um... Can I sell the one? Yeah, I want to sell this one. Dragon is here to scrap. I don't want to scrap. I want to sell it. Neo. Can I sell stuff? Sell stuff? Maybe I can't sell stuff. To store? No. I don't want to scrap it. Need more money. Well, he said barter. I want to barter. I want this one. Give me that one. Musket. Another tomahawk. Unlimited. Oh, that's how many he has. Okay. That makes sense. So I probably only have one tomahawk. Should I 
Your barrel restores health and refill your water skin if you have one. What's the water skin do? Portable health potion? That would be my only guess. Gotta look out for those boxes. Can actually break those. I am sneaking around this side. Ooh, there's a note. The Indian King, whom they call... I am not even going to attempt that one. Was much pleased by our gifts of tools and trinkets and gave us in return an abundance of corn and bear meat. Okay, so they made friends with the Indian king. That doesn't look normal. Let's... Though the figure appears human, it's only ash and ember. Now is that... That has to be one of the, uh, the guys from England, too. So what happened to this town? I got a charm. Um, let's see if we can figure out. Reload muskets, pistols, and crossbows 5% faster. I want a crossbow. But I do have that pistol, too. Can always switch to. Some more stuff? Should I get the other stuff before... I actually walk up to that thing. Ooh, there's another person there. Can drink from a water skin to restore your health at any time. So I have a water skin now. I am going back to the barrel to fill it up. According to our prisoner, the Spaniards seek to destroy settlements that might be used for privateering against their treasured fleets and will surely come at us again. We need reinforcements if we were to power further attacks. So this settlement, Fort Henry, Looks like it was under attack from the Spanish. Another ash figure. Nothing there. Something appears to be buried here, but the soil is too hard to dig up with my bare hands. So I need a shovel, maybe? Nothing in there. I can hear that flag, like, flapping in the wind right in my ears. The sounds are really good. Okay, where's the barrel? Just in case. Yay. Okay. Um, broken. Nothing. What is that? A small trowel well suited to break up hard soil. Look at that. So that thing was over here. Take more than a trowel. Oh, I thought I had that one. So I do need a shovel. Guess I should finally go to the... And can I jump? Ooh, I can jump. Didn't have to jump yet. Slowly learn in here. Check out on top of here. There are some arrows. Indian arrows that were most likely intended for the head of a century. So, did I take them? I think I did take them. So they were under Indian attack and Spanish attack. More coins. Uh, nothing in that box. Anything here? I don't think I can open any of the doors. Okay. Again, something buried there. Now what's the trowel for? I'm gonna build a house? An ornate bell. It appears to be in good condition. It could probably be remounted where it hung. Probably up there, maybe? Break this box. Ooh, that's another ash figure. What could these be? Ah, I'm thinking they were my uh, settlement buddies, but um, who knows how they got turned to ash. That's kind of creepy. 
The Lord Governor has determined that we cannot spare any men to send to Fort Henry, for we are harried constantly by the naturals who have recently grown more hostile towards us for unknown reasons. The naturals. They mean the Indians, the ones that were here originally. Oh, I thought it said this was Fort Henry. So what do I do now? There's some more arrows up here. Either a large scout attack or several smaller skirmishes. So I'm trying to piece together the clues of what happened. So that's that. There's a grave marker, it looks like. Reginald Milet, a true gentleman. Keep updating stuff in my journal. I have to look there. So was this a fence or some sort of defense? Maybe a marker? It's hard to tell. There's somebody down there, it looks like. I shouldn't run. Get ready to crouch. Is that somebody? That is somebody. Uh-oh. Oh. He hit me? I think he hit me. Yep, he did. My health went down a little bit. I can just go back to the barrel. Cracked longbow. I can't carry any more of this ammo, so... I at least got a few arrows off of him. And I got another longbow. Is that any better? 30. See, there are sell prices. I gotta figure out how to sell things. And that's 35. I should probably just stick with the shoddy one. 30, 30. Alright. Oh, well, while I'm there. Ash figures. Bell. Is there a place to hang the bell there? Maybe I should look around for that. Graves. So there's probably a few more. Reminder stuff. That's telling me all the stuff that I have learned already. I think I should go back and check the bell. It's not that far. Plus, I can drink from the barrel, so I will head back. Okay, so I'm... nope, I didn't drink. There we go. Okay, now I'm set to continue my journey, but it looks like I will end this one here. Um, this is a pretty interesting game. I'm actually kind of interested in what happened and what's going on. So, um, hey, if you uh, like what you see, um, leave a like. It really does help me out, and I will put a link in the description so you can check out this game for yourself. So, give it a shot. I think it's pretty cool. So, until the next one. Have fun, everybody. Don't be not. I got